What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we are gonna work on the 2018 BMW M4 and we're gonna be putting on some awesome stuff. Uh, these are some motorsport hardware stud conversions for the wheels, which is a highly recommended modification for when you're changing your wheels and tires often, as well as adding wheel spacers to the front and rear wheels to get a little bit better stance with the factory setup. So let's get down to it guys. All right guys, so what I have right here are some Motorsport Hardware wheel spacers. Now I got 15 millimeter spacers for the front and 12 millimeters for the rear. These are the track light options. And by the way guys, follow me down below on Instagram, at Blake's Garage. And I'm gonna be doing two giveaways. I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway of the standard spacers, 15 millimeter and 12 millimeter for the rear for your car if you have like an F30 or well basically any sort of BMW with a 5x120 bolt pattern these bad boys will work so keep an eye out for that as well as I'll be doing a post with the wheel studs and uh, lug nuts and we'll be doing a giveaway on those too so make sure to follow me at Blake's Garage and you can have a chance to win some of these I think like each one of these things is around a hundred bucks a piece so good stuff what do you need to do this well first off you need a jack you're gonna need a jack stand we're gonna use some gloves just because our hands are gonna get disgustingly dirty um you're gonna need some of these little allen wrenches uh torque wrenches would be good if you have something to break some lug nuts loose great either that or a breaker bar and something that is very important right here is gonna be some thread locker now i'm using the blue stuff just an idea of what the stock looks like that's the front, as you can see, it's uh, it's not very lined up, wheel gap wise. Um, it's gonna look a lot better, it's gonna look a lot more flush. I'm usually not that person that goes like, hella flush or whatever, but it's just, it will look a lot better. As you can see, the rears are inset quite a bit, so that 12 millimeter in the rear is gonna just make it look much more aggressive and kind of just how the car should be from the factory, so. Super stoked to get this done. Let's jack it up and install those studs. I got the wheel off the ground. Got my gloves on, so that is good. But using a 17 millimeter impact socket, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. Uh, 17 mil is pretty standard for most European cars. And these are wheel bolts. Sure. What does that mean? Well, that means they look like this compared to looking like this so here is a stud with lug nut right these are just the small conical style ball lug nuts right here oh and i forgot to mention that this is a finer pitch thread right here the factory pitch on the thread is pretty fine and really easy to cross thread one advantage to this is that well you can see that they are much longer Another thing is, is that the thread pitch is actually changing. So it's going from a 14.125, which is the uh, factory thread pitch right here. And we're gonna swap that. So that's gonna go into the hub. And then this right here is actually a coarser thread, which is gonna be less likely to strip out. And that's a 14 by 1.5, which is the same size as the lug nut itself. So this makes it real easy for mounting up wheels. If you're doing track wheels, this is a recommended upgrade. It just makes changing wheels so much easier, especially with these giant freaking brakes. So let's get this off here. All right, so this is where you gotta be careful on the last one, because now the wheel is going to come off. Let's not hit the brakes. Okay, yeah, very nice, very nice. My God, these things are massive, dude. Like, there's my hand. Don't touch them because they're hot, obviously, but my God. These are really badass. Very, very cool. McPherson style strut design up top. You know, pretty basic. One lower control arm. Been that way for a while and it's tried and true. Now with spacers, you have to remember they're not made equally. As you can see right here, these are both motorsport hardware spacers. They are both hub centric, which is very important. You want a hub centric spacer. Never use a uh, spacer that is not hub centric. That is very bad. You can have wobbly wheels. You can just do weird stuff. It is not safe. With the studs and with these, it is perfectly safe. So these are track light, which are gonna be a heck of a lot lighter than uh, these ones, but still same 15 millimeter. All we're gonna do, I'm just gonna make sure this fits. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. So. Let's go ahead 
and install the studs. For the stud installation, it's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna put, whoops, a bit of blue Loctite on here. Uh, I like using the blue as it is not permanent. And then we will just thread these into the wheel hub. Then we're gonna torque them down using a five millimeter Allen. Now, if you don't have an Allen wrench, what you can do is do the double nut technique. The double nut technique is where you use two lug nuts and you would just kind of put them back to back like this. Once you jam them up like this, you're able to use a 17 millimeter socket and you can tighten them up like that and torque them down to 25 foot pounds of torque. So now I can go ahead and torque this down to 25 foot pounds. Now you might have to have someone step on the brakes for you when you do this or else uh, it's basically going to spin. So I guess this is a two person job, which seems kind of crazy, but yeah, make sure to get a person inside the car. That way you can get the proper torque on these. All right, so with someone pushing on the brakes, you can torque these studs down, torque them to 25 foot pounds of torque. There we go, that's good on that one. Good on that one. Now these studs are installed, we can go ahead and put on our spacer. Like I said, always use a hub centric spacer. Boom, we're good to go there. Let's slap the wheel back on with the new studs. And by the way, guys, these studs right here are capable of taking up to a 20 millimeter hub centric spacer. If you need a bigger spacer, you're gonna have to get bigger studs. If you have custom wheels, you know, you shouldn't have to run spacers or if you have the proper offset of aftermarket wheel. So I always recommend not to run spacers if possible, but with this wheel setup, we're gonna run spacers on it to make it look a whole hell of a lot better. And it actually should perform a little bit better because it's gonna have a better track width. So for reinstallation of your wheels with the wheel studs, it is a lot simpler um, as you can just basically line up the stud with the wheel, especially with these big brakes. So boom, hub centric. Whoa, Bert's out y'all. He's going crazy. And we can just start the lug nuts like you normally would. No big deal. This part's pretty self-explanatory. We are going to then tighten them down to the factory torque setting. Now, after you install these, I do recommend after the fact to uh, come back the next day on alloy wheels and to check them. Also, if you're on track, guys, between every session, the rotor gets so hot that this area expands and uh, will basically heat up quite a bit. That can actually let the studs get loose. Um, this, is, this is even typical on regular wheel bolts as well. You wanna torque them down between every session. Also make sure to remove your center cap if you're on track or else you're gonna melt that bad boy. So yeah, let's not do that. Cool. Awesome, that looks way cooler as well. I like the way this uh, kind of hangs out. And that's why I went with these and not the tuner lug nuts. I'm not a huge fan of tuner lug nuts. I feel that these are very simple. They're also lighter weight. So lightweight is always good. That's why we went with the racing spacers as well. I can already tell, I think you guys can too, how much more aggressive that is. It looks way better already. So we'll go ahead and hit the back real quick and then we'll throw this thing on the ground and I'll compare the driver's side to the passenger side so you guys can see it. Oh, and by the way guys, uh, I think the BMW M3 and M4 literally have like bigger rear brakes than most performance cars front brakes, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, also, something to mention, look at that rear subframe mount, like that support, that chassis reinforcement, all aluminum. Super cool. It's actually kind of the first time I've looked at the rear suspension and rear subframe and man, that's some fancy stuff right there. Stock wheels are pretty sweet, but uh, we definitely need to get some aftermarket wheels and tires, throw some R compounds on here. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. Get some more grip going because I think we're going to be adding some power quite soon. So yeah, these uh, stock tires are already getting overwhelmed, but you know, why not throw more power at it? Power is always good. So we'll go ahead and set the car back on the ground and then I'll torque these 
lug nuts all down, and uh, I'll show you the new stance. Ooh, that looks good. Here is the new look with those new wheel spacers. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. All right, you guys can see, very nice and flat fitment. Pops it out just perfectly. Obviously, you're not gonna have to roll any fenders because when it goes up, some negative camber will come in there and we're not gonna have any issues with contacting the body. As well as up front with that 15 mil. Look at that, it looks really, really good. All right, so kind of see that side, guys. And then we'll go back over to the stock side. Look at, it's a way inset. And with this side, it is super inset as well. See, just hides like a hovercraft where this side, boom, pops out much more. As you can see, it looks more aggressive right there compared to right there. So that is awesome. Now make sure to subscribe if you guys have not. Like I said, I'm gonna be giving away a set of these Motorsport Hardware Spacers. Links down below in the description. These guys make some really awesome stuff. Uh, Mark and Ryan, they make some great products. So yeah, check them out. Wheel studs, highly recommended on any European car. They do BMW, Porsche, I think they do Lamborghini, Audi, a whole bunch of different stuff. Also, if you guys need any motorsports fluids, that's our other website where you can get some fancy Raven oil or whatever you need, some total. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Blake's Garage. What I'm gonna have you probably do is tag two friends on that particular post, follow Motorsport Hardware, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and then uh, we'll pick out of the comments section right there who wins. We'll do two different giveaways and you guys can be coming home with the. Uh, some of these on your porch or something. So cool guys, we'll talk to you soon, later, and wrench on.